Georgia is known for its outdoor life and activities. From Atlanta to Savannah, Augusta to Bainbridge, people love being outdoors and enjoying all that nature has to offer here. And many of those outdoor activities include our natural bodies of water, including our rivers, streams, waterfalls, and lakes. In fact, we have some of the most exciting and breathtaking whitewater rivers that rafters and kayakers can enjoy on the eastern seaboard. But did you know that there are things that we do every day that can threaten the quality of our water? The things that we do, without even knowing that they can cause harm, could make it dangerous for us to swim or fish in our favorite lakes and streams. Brad McManus manages the Georgia Department of Transportation's Stormwater Program. He has been working to inform the public on things that they can do to help protect our natural waters and keep them free from pollution and harmful materials. When it rains, most water either soaks in the ground or runs off and into streams and rivers and lakes and eventually into the ocean where it is evaporated and comes down as rain again. The water that flows into streams may carry with it materials that it comes in contact with. The material can be soil particles, making the water look muddy, and pollutants. Services like pavement do not allow water to soak in to the ground, and they provide a fast way for water to enter streams. We call these services impervious. This increases the amount of water entering streams when it rains, and also does not filter out the pollutants like natural vegetation would. Some of the things people do without realizing they cause pollution to our lakes rivers and streams include allowing trash to litter our roadsides, such as throwing out cigarettes, using too much fertilizer, herbicide, pesticides, changing oil without proper cleanup, and washing cars on impervious surfaces where there is no natural filter. The Georgia Department of Transportation spends tens of thousands of dollars each year cleaning up litter from our roadways and trash and chemicals near our streams. We also test water at sites all over the state on a regular basis to ensure that the water is safe, clean, and healthy for us all. Every day, Georgia DOT is constructing and repairing roadway projects around the state. To keep construction-related pollutants from our waterways, the department provides special training for our engineers, contractors, and work crews to reinforce the importance of pollution prevention. In addition, we use special plantings along the highways to prevent unwanted soil or an overflow of rainwater from running into nearby bodies of water. From design to construction to maintenance, the Department of Transportation is preventing pollution from entering our waterways. There are things that you can do to help us as well. Many people don't realize that anything that comes into contact with a storm drain or the area around it can flow right into our natural waters. Anything that we pour on the sidewalk, on the street, or that goes down this drain goes directly into our water system. But who really knows where the water goes when it goes down this drain? Let's ask some people and see what they say. So where do you think the water goes when it goes down the drain? Uh, it just gets soaked back into the ground, right? Or does it go anywhere? I presume it goes back into our rivers that are around here. Back into our rivers? I would say back into the rivers of the reservoirs. Back into rivers. Are they right? Maybe somewhere where they can take the dirt out and filter it? I would think it would um, travel into creeks and rivers eventually. Does it? Possibly. Does it? Is that the right answer? Um, pipes that are all connected underground. I I don't know. Do you know? Do you know where it goes? Pipes? Uh, holding pond. I think the water goes into streams and then into the local river systems. Okay, Dad says streams and local river systems. What do you think? I'm going to go with the same thing. I think local river systems and if yeah, streams will flow into that. I think that's very smart. I think you should listen to your dad throughout your life. I think that's a, that's a good idea. Okay, so if I throw trash out of my car and it goes into the storm drain and down into our rivers, does that mean my trash is going into our rivers? I, I guess it does. That's not very good, is it? It's not good at all. No. No, we don't think that's good. Now, let's take a peek in one of these and see what's really down in there. Oh, all of that? That's awful. We've got cigarette butts and, and 
Looks like someone's leftover snacks. I definitely don't think I want any of this going into my water either. The water that flows through these drains then moves forward into our rivers, lakes, and streams, untreated, and can cause them to become very polluted over time. We know you are as concerned about preventing water pollution as we are. So Georgia DOT also provides information to the public to help individuals, cities, counties, and organizations do their part to help keep our water clean. We've installed pet waste stations at rest areas around the state to make it easy for travelers to dispose of pet waste the right way. We make it easy for companies and organizations to join our sponsor highway and adopt a highway programs to prevent litter. We have a website where the public can go to find out more about how to prevent pollution at home and in their neighborhoods. So what can you do to help? Remember that anything that stays on the ground can find its way into our water. So always clean up after your pets. Be sure to put trash, even cigarette butts, in the right place. You can even join the Sponsor a Highway program. Have a plan for storing and recycling your motor oil if you do your own car or truck repairs and maintenance. There are many recycling centers that will take your oil, containers, and filters, and some will even pick it up for you. A quick internet search will point you to recycling centers in your area and tell others what you learned about this video. After all, Georgia is beautiful. Please join Georgia DOT in our efforts to keep it that way.